So here we are, cruising in Nashville, Tennessee. What are your voice impressions of the South so far? Stereotypes are true. <laughs> What's your impression? Uh oh, I don't know. I love it. They say y'all a lot. We've seen some friendly food. I haven't even seen a lot yet, but I'm excited for some live music and a lot of country. And a lot of y'all. <laughs> a lot of y'all. <laughs> they love the y'all. Yeah. We stopped um, in uh, IHOP in Bristol, Virginia this morning, right on the border of Tennessee. We had Kim, our lovely sister. <laughs> what can we all get ya? <laughs> well, Kim. You boys here to eat. Um, Should be real good. Next three days are in Nashville, Tennessee. Any reflections on New York? New York was amazing. New York was unreal. We met an Italian uh, uh, pizzeria That's owner. That's right, Santos. He took us in, Santos. He, he uh, said he'd be the next big thing and to remember us. Yeah. We got a picture. He said when we see him in the newspaper, we'll remember him. So we'll be famous. He's got big hopes for Santos. Yeah, we even, we, even, uh, we heard a couple... Arguments. Uh, one was with these two guys outside of a subway station. What did he say? I'm gonna bring a man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bring a man. And he said, "You gonna bring your wife?" He said, "No, I'm gonna bring a man." It got pretty rough there. We were uh, we were Lots ready. For all was gonna break out. We were ready for the bullet shots. And then the, the deck. Hit the traffic. We actually heard someone say, "Yeah, Jack." <laughs> yeah. The conversation pretty much went down. What did he say? He said, he said uh, the guy walked in front of his car across the street. He's like, I'll beat the crap out of you. He, he's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, jack off. And then he was like, I'll beat the, yeah, I'll beat the crap out of you. And then he, the other guy said, I'd like to see you try. And then he said, yeah, shit, Ed. <laughs> um, so, near across hospitality there. It was great, though. It was, uh. And our, of course, our tour guide. Oh, yeah, our tour guide. Crazy tour guy. guy. was a little loony. Yeah. We're finding these two guys actually are a little. Uh, they're quite rare. interesting. They're their own breed. We had he Uncle was... Steve in Boston. <laughs> Uncle Steve always gets a little naughty on the last tour, according That's what to he him. Said. He said he'd take us to places in the wrong tour. <laughs> the other guy saw the pig, though. He's yeah. a racist. He called uh, Napoleon. Uh, no, Columbus. He called Christopher Columbus a terrorist. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Approaching Columbus Circle in New York, he described where Lennon got shot as that place where that terrorist is standing, pointing at some guy who was from. I'm I'm guessing he was Arabic. A Muslim but, country. Yeah, he looked Arabic, but. Yeah, this guy. There's a few appalled faces on the on the bus. Let's there, say the he least. said he was a terrorist because he was wearing a striped shirt. Yeah. So, He's uh he was an interesting guy. We got a couple of videos of him. I don't know if we got the, the classic stuff, but we will post those. Um, we are, we are also our hotel customer service <laughs> might have been the worst customer service. Hotel on the Pennsylvania planet. is a joke. Besides don't ever go. Was across from Madison Square Garden, which was awesome. It was actually the like the biggest piece of crap on the trip so far. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the guy was just the guys at the front desk were rude. They wouldn't answer the guest services. Uh, it took forever for, 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 for us to get a cot, and oh, it was the rooms were just, scuzzy. Just don't ever stay there if you go to New York. Just not a pleasant atmosphere. No. Some dog poo on the on dog the lobby poo in the floor. lobby that topped the cake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't even clean that up. Um, what else have we done lately? We had a big day yesterday. Oh yeah, they, they locked down all of New York City too because Obama was That's in right. town, which was pretty cool. We saw his choppers going through the harbor. We kind of have a video of it, but it's not very good, so maybe we'll just talk about it. Leave that to the imagination. Yeah, well, but uh, then, then we, oh, we went, went to D.C. yesterday, so we uh, stopped. Yeah, we called in a drunk driver last night. We were on the road still. But yeah. Virginia police don't really Virginia seem to care. Virginia didn't care. We called 911 twice, but they are just like, yeah, we'll uh, put that in. swerving all over the highway. Yeah, that was a little sketchy. Um, then we, uh, but yeah, we were in D.C. before that. Uh, little was, thunderstorm? Well, yeah, it was a little bad foreshadowing. It was a torrential thunderstorm with lightning and everything. And, and we were walking all alone in the dark. We, yeah, and we've been told by all of our parents that Washington is quite sketchy and it's a high chance of, there's a high crime rate, so we were a little nervous. cop cars per block. Yeah, yeah. exactly. We must have, at almost every intersection, too, there were police lights lit up. I, I don't know if someone was just visiting or... That's just kind of what DC looks like at night, but it was pretty cool. I had no idea how big the whole complex is, and the U.S. really does know how to do memorials, as we said. But. Yeah, the Capitol, the Monument, the Abraham Lincoln Memorial, all uh, pretty spectacular. 
Yep. Now we're heading to Music City. Yeah, we left. 35 miles out. We left Christiansburg this morning at 11 a.m. And uh, now, yeah, we're almost at Music City. And uh, we'll hopefully it'll be a... We're gonna, hopefully we're going to do a little line dance for you. Woo! A little hoedown. We'll get it done. And that's the open road. Goodbye.